His talents immeasurable, his career unprecedented, his presence inspirational, and his name says it all, Charles Aznavour. His manager and lifelong friend Levon Sayan led us to his room at the Golden Tulip for our exclusive interview. Once past the paparazzi and security guards, we felt like we were home with family. No air of importance, no intimidation, only love, a welcoming spirit and a hello in Armenian. <laughs> Charles Aznavour is the guest of honor at the 10th annual Golden Apricot International Film Festival in Yerevan. On Sunday, a festive ceremony with bands and balloons marked the unveiling of Aznavour's star on the Walk of Fame in front of Cinema Moscow. Inside the opera later that night, Aznavour received the festival's highest honor, Sergei Parajanov's Stalar Award, presented to him by Atom Egoyan, the honorary chair of the festival. I asked Aznavour about the multiple standing ovations at the opera. I asked him what it felt like to receive the outpouring of love not only from the opening night audience, but from an entire nation and from Armenians throughout the diaspora. Well, it's a pleasure to have some, some, something like that. I'm not somebody who search for that, but when it happened, I accept it with pleasure because uh, it's happened because I'm that, that show that I have worked, I have worked all my life in the right way. Atom Egoyan said, we will never know how much you've given to our people. Um, what did you think of that statement? I don't know, I don't know. That's his, his statement. We never know anyway. I'm not the only one in the, in the world that who, who give to the public, but we never know. Uh, those who try to know, it means that there is a little, there is a little selfish. And uh, as we say in Armenian. How does someone voted the entertainer of the century, someone whom Atom Migoyan calls the most important troubadour of our time, stay so humble? I put that question to the man who perhaps knows him best, Levon Sayan. This man is a legend in his own time and everybody says so. Why is he so modest? You know, why is he so humble? But maybe that if he wasn't humble, the people wouldn't love him as they love him today. And I think this is one of his... Uh, uh, strength, this mother's way of him with all the people he meets with his interview. Uh, he doesn't have what they say uh, uh, in French, la gostette. Indeed, he's not big headed and just a sweet man here because he says the Golden Apricot Film Festival is important to him and he has come to support the festival even though he doesn't like attending events like this. I don't go much. I, I was not very often. I came here because it's Armenia and, and I think it's important for the country. That's why. Aznavur says the film festival has made people from around the world become interested in Armenia. Yes, of, of course, because they're meeting people from other countries, producers, uh, money make uh, givers. And Our conversation turns from English to Armenian when I asked him what it's like to have his children with him on a trip to the homeland. We came all to go, uh, together, we'd be better. Aznavour's first trip here was in 1963, a four-day visit when he says he didn't see much of the homeland. He was back at the opera this week, the very same venue where he performed in 1963. When you look back at the career that 
that is being paid a tribute to in all the films, what stands out? The singing. Singing has always been the most important thing for me because in the singing I'm doing everything. I'm writing the song, the music, uh, the staging, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, for a movie you have a director, they're doing everything. So you have to wait for hours to say sometimes only two words. With more than 100 million albums sold, appearances in nearly 70 movies, and having written a thousand songs, I asked whether he had any words of advice for aspiring artists. I never, never give any advice to the, to the kids, because what, what I can say, it comes from me and for me. And the, 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 the little young one is not me, he's somebody else with a different way to think, different way to work. And if you give, give advice, it can be only a wrong advice. Perhaps his best advice is in his prolific career and the words he has penned that chronicle the human heart and mind. What is it like for Sion to witness his friend and colleague being honored in the homeland? The feeling is extraordinary because everything that happens with Charles is extraordinary. So the feeling is like that because, as I say, time flew because there's always something going on and there's never any dull moment. My final question to the 89-year-old legend was about his future. You continue full force. Um, you're still creating work. Yeah. You're studying. Um, what keeps you interested? What if you don't do anything? The only thing left is to die. And I'm not ready for that. Paul Chadurjian, Seda Grigorian, Azad Kevorkian, Stepan Sarkisian, Civilnet. Ah,